Hello, this is Trog, and welcome to another Skyblock tutorial. Today, we will be talking about how to survive and get back to the overworld. Uh, if you're starting Skyblock 1.8, this is how you do it here. So once you get some dirt, uh, you will be teleported to the nether in this weird Skyblock world. So the first thing you want to do is chop down this tree and get yourself some tools. So if you didn't know with this new wood, you can make tools, uh, wooden tools, and with blackstone, you can make stone tools. So that is what we're going to do here. We're going to make ourselves a crafting table and uh, some tools to mine out this blackstone. I suggest mining the stone, the blackstone first, because that way you know if you're making too many tools and whatnot and when you're going to run out of that stuff because you can't make tools out of basalt. So the next thing you want is at least a little bit of these bones for bone meal. That way, in case you do run out of wood, you can just uh, take these and make sure you bone meal and keep that nylium there. And then um, I'm going to tear down the tree for some extra blocks using a hoe. You don't have to do this if you want, uh, if you want to conserve. But I, I like the block. It, it's really cool to build with, but also it helps to have a little extra blocks when you're trying to go around. So I'm going to get rid of these uh, really quick. Okay, now the tree's gone. I'm going to put the light down because it's nice and uh, bone meal that. So we got a really big tree, which is awesome. So we'll be able to get as much wood as we're going to need for this. And now we need to make the basalt generator. Okay, so we're going to put the lamp or the, the fungus thing right there and two blocks on the other side to make sure the lava doesn't flow. The lamp is where the lava is going to be. Now underneath where I just broke this basalt, we're going to put the soul soil. And then on top of that, we're going to put this blue ice. And now if we break this, I'm going to make sure that the lava doesn't flow out any other directions and the blocks stay where they I want them to. Uh, so now we'll break this and place the lava and get ourselves our basalt generator. Now we're going to need to mine this about, uh, I believe the number was around six stacks of basalt is the proper amount that you'll need to get all the way to the north to the portal like this book says here so it tells you which way to go because it will be frustrating to use all your resources go out in a direction that you weren't supposed to and uh yeah that that'd be game over so the proper direction is north and uh you just gotta get a lot of basalt to do that about six stacks uh and you shouldn't worry about running out of wood. You've got plenty. The only thing you need to worry about potentially is the blackstone, but there's plenty. So get to mining, and once you get six stacks, you are ready to bridge out. Okay, so I am a little impatient, and I want to show you exactly where to go. So I'm going to use the stuff that I have right now, just the three and a half stacks. Um to show you exactly where the portal is, but it is that way. So if we look over here, it's in the north, so we're good. And we can start blocking over that way. So uh, the reason I built a sword here is because uh, since it's not gonna be enough blocks, once we come back, there might be some monsters we have to fight. And that is the risk of being impatient. If you don't wanna do this, make sure that you get around six to seven stacks of basalt before you go out like this. I know it's hard. I didn't want to do it like I'm doing right now. I don't want to do it. I want to show you this first, but there is dangers. So just keep that in mind whenever you're uh, grinding away the basalt. So I'll see you once we see the island. Okay, so we're right here. Now this was a ruined portal. Uh, it looks like it's complete and we'll need to take this fire charge get that going and as you can see there are zombie zombified piglins over there um and we are now in the overworld 
congratulations. Now you have to figure out where the main island is, right over there. And you're going to have to bridge out to that one. But since it's nighttime, I don't want to do that because mobs are going to eventually spawn. So I'm going to go back, get the rest of the basalt that I need, and then I'll talk about what we need to do in order to make sure no mobs spawn on these platforms that you made to get back to the main island. Okay, and we are pretty close. There we go. I'm going to take a small risk and jump. And since we're on top of the tree, might as well break until we get a sapling. And we got a sapling. Perfect. So I don't need to worry about <laughs> uh, any more of the leaves decaying or anything like that. So we should be good here. Uh, so we got to make this quick before night comes. We're going to need a cobblestone generator just like the normal uh, <laughs> sky block like, like normal. So ice there break and lava there we go so we got our cobblestone generator figured out and now we need to mine enough cobblestone to make a furnace or to s use half slabs and slab over that entire bridge that we made including the portal okay so option one to make sure that nothing can spawn and we're going to go back to the portal to do this uh is to slab over everything and that is what a lot of people do in skyblock so we'll slab over that and actually you know what just in case we're gonna go like this make sure i don't fall out and put some slabs on that so now you just slab the whole way over and uh yeah this this uses a lot of blocks so i um if you want to do this you can Otherwise, I suggest using torches, which we will go and make now. There we go. So we've got eight torches. We'll get a little bit more with the one piece of charcoal. And that will definitely be enough torches in order to light the whole thing up. So let's get up here. And I believe the proper amount with a diagonal bridge like this is seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On that block there um actually no it's six I'm pretty sure so let's double check that as you can see it says block light level seven here so that's not good enough we'll make it one more and now those blocks are fully lit up perfect okay so I was mistaken and is two three four five blocks instead so one two three four five six one two three four five six and if you do this nothing will be able to spawn in this area it is fully lit up and uh you are good to go and now that everything is spawn proof we're done that is how you survive and start skyblock 1.8 uh so the skyblock for version 1.16 I added this to the map as a celebration to 1.16. If you guys don't like it, if you like it, let me know in the comments. If you want me to keep it for the whole map or just for 1.16, let me know. But uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later.